Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. You are watching our Cloud School where we are discussing various data integration scenarios and how do we resolve those scenarios with data integration service like Azure Data Factory. In our previous discussion, we have discussed about a scenario wherein we want to convert a CSV file into a complex JSON. That CSV file used to contain multiple records for a single family like a single family has multiple parent and multiple child and then we have converted them into a complex JSON structure that we have validated but on that discussion we found us another complex scenario wherein let's say if your CSV contains multiple family information then what how do we would like to generate a array of JSON object and each object is presenting of family information and to implement that scenario I have created the part two of the same discussion so let's say we have this csv right which contains id1 and id1 contains the one family information it has got the parent information it has got parent one parent two and each parent is representing one children so it has one parent first parent has got three children information and then second parent has got the same children information and then after that you have a family id2 which is representing the parent one parent two and each of them representing its child's like child one child two right so now the question is how do we want to make use of or create the json object which will look like this let's say this is what we were looking for so we want a JSON which contains a value which is of type array and then the array should have the object and each object element should represent the family information and the family could have these parent collection, children collection and then address object, things like that. So how do we do that with ADF? So let me just go ahead and create a pipeline. So I'll be creating a pipeline from scratch. In case if you have missed the previous video so i'm going to create a data flow drag a data flow to the canvas I'm going to define a new data flow and here in the data flow i'm going to define the data source as our data source is azure blob storage i'm going to create a new blob storage type of data source azure blob storage I'm going to specify the json as in file format because that is sorry we have to specify the csv as in file format and then I'm going to click on the browse to access the blob storage container. That is where our files are. And of, also I'm going to select the file where we have our CSV file. Select the file which contains our data in CSV format. So this is the data which we have it in the CSV format. Let's click on OK. That will create new data set. So let me just click on this data set. That is where we can preview the data before we proceed further. So this is how our data looks like, which is good. Now let's go back to our data flow. Let's give it a name to the data flow, data flow demo. Here in the source, I'm going to specify or I, I, we can check the projection and we can also preview the data if you would like to. So let's click on the preview of our data preview. First of all, we need to have this data flow debug option enabled to preview the data at any stage in the pipeline. So make sure that you have the data flow enabled. So this is how our flat data structure looks like in derived from the CSV. Let's convert this data structure into a parent object and children object and of course the address object. So I want to convert these attributes into object and for that I'm going to click on option schema modifier and I'm going to choose the option as in derive column. So this is an exercise where we are using the derive column data transformation as well in case if you would like to know more about it. So I'm going to call my new derived column name as in parent and here I'm going to click on the expression on which my parent column is going to be defined as our parent column is of type object. So what we can do is we can click on this plus icon, we can add new sub column and we can call it as in family name 
which is the name what we have we want to use and this family name we want to derive it from the parent family name column click on save that will save the column or the parent information which will look like this family equals to parent family name and after that we can put a comma if you would directly want to modify right here from this section and we can modify it like this i'm going to remove this and then save it so you can see that our parent object now has got another sub type of column to add another new column which is going to be let's say children type let's add it as in children so this is going to be our next column and here this time i'm going to use expression directly from here let's use it next column is gender we want to use the children's gender next column we want to use children's family name so i'm going to use the family name as well this is the family name put a comma grade is the next column we want to use which is the last column and i'm going to just give it a revised name to these columns because we don't want to make the column name as is because the object itself represents the children tags so i'm going to remove these children from these names and this is what our name should look like it has got an error because by mistakenly i've removed the family from here as well so let me just save it and now our these two columns like they looks like this i'm going to add another column which will be going to be address and again i'm going to repeat the same step but this time i'm going to use the address attributes this is very very easy if you try and look at the pattern here so we have got address county so let's add the next column so i'm going to again remove this address tag tag from these left side of the column names because we don't want our new column names to be of containing the address which is a node name anyways so these are our three derived column names which we would like to have it as an object type let me just click ok and let me just refresh it on the derived column refresh option refresh data option you should be able to see all the columns so there should be a 12 column plus 3 column which we have added so in total there should be a 15 column we should have it and these are our 15 columns which include these parent child but here if you look at our parent information and the children's informations are repeating one after other like it was repeating in the flat structure in the csv and that is what we did not want so what we did in our last demonstration is we have used the aggregate option so i'm going to use the aggregate options and i would like to group by aggregation as an id because id one and two are the value on the basis of i would like to aggregate the value aggregate each and every row now i'm going to give it a name to my column i'm going to call it as an parent and it's going to be the aggregate column name and expression we are going to use the expression builder and what we are going to say here is we are going to use the parent as an object type and we will call it as in here we need to use the aggregate function and as we want to convert object type of parent column onto a collection or array type of parent information so we are going to use the collect function so collect function usually converts a data into array type as we can use the collect function as is but this will connect convert the data into array type which means that we would have the duplicate information in the parent data but we want the unique information in the parent and the child hence i'm going to use the collect unique function instead of collect so this is what my function name is next i'm going to use another column so let me add another column here column name i'm going to give it as in children and to specify children here i'm going to call it as a children let me just save it so now you can see that it has converted a children data into array of children and array of parent let's save this so this is what our expression looks like next i would like to add more columns the reason for that is because if you look at in derived column we have 15 columns whereas in the aggregate we have got three columns so 
which three columns? One is this group by and these two parent and children. If you look at the data in preview, you would find that the ID, parent and children will be the data which will be available. Let me show you. So this is how our data looks like ID 1, ID 2. In the parent, I have these two information, parent 1 and parent 2, first one and the second one has got another two parent information. Children's here I've got three children. Here we got two children and this is what exactly what we will need. Now the missing information what we have it here is the other columns like address, uh, we have creation date, whether the family is registered or not. So these are the columns we are looking for. So there are two options. Either you add these columns like this, add one by one or you can add a column pattern expression and dynamically you can bring in all the remaining columns or the all the columns based on a particular expression and how do we write the expression is the expression works on each column that matches the condition so here which means that we here we have to specify the condition and condition what i'm going to say is give me all the column or this should work on or this expression should work on all the column which are not having the name as in parent child in id because these three columns anyways we have detected so we want the column which are not of type or which are not having the name as an id let me just call it as an id right you can open the expression builder in case if you would like to use so i'm going to call it as not ex not equals to expression then we can use the end expression and name not equals to i'll call it as in children and again i'm going to use the name not equals to parent right save it and this is what our structure looks like let's save it and here next you have to specify if this condition matches what do you want to do uh, what is the column name you want to give i don't want to give a new column name i want to make use of the existing column name and for that reason you can use the expression like double dollar which means that whatever is the column current column name is it will take the current column now what about the value now for the value whatever is the value you have it in the current column i'm going to take that and for that reason i have used the first function so this is how your expression should be so whatever is the column name is going to be the column name and whatever is the first value from that column name is going to be the value so let's click on that so it should have all my data now you can see that it has got the 15 column like it has got in the derived column so it should have all the 15 columns so let's refresh that so instead of three columns, we should have all the 15 columns so there you go we have got all our columns but along with the address creation date but here in this case these are the redundant information because this information anyways we have aggregated as an array so for that reason we have to just remove those columns and i'm going to use the select expression and i'm going to remove all the unnecessary columns which are anyways we have selected so i'm going to just remove it children's family name key one name great address city county so these were the column we are looking for right so let's refresh that and that is what the data we are looking for right so which is going to be have uh, which will have these two records with the parent information and with all its child children information right now if, if we just finally write down into a destination let's write it into a destination as in sync and i'm going to specify the sync as in json and we are going to call the file name let's call it a file name as the result new underscore result let's call it as in json this information or this file name option requires the optimization to be changed to a single partition so hence it is asking because we would like to merge the file to be a single and it is required single partition so our sync is ready so what i'm going to do is i'm going to generate the same output which we were having which has an array and then i'll show you what uh, uh, same output which we had it earlier which has the error 
so that we will know what is the error first of all and then I'll show you the next step to resolve that error. So let's run the pipeline in a debug mode. So let me just run it and then I'll wait for the result and we will validate it how why it is failing. So our pipeline is successfully completed. So let's validate the result. So I'm going to just refresh my blob storage account to validate the result. So result is new underscore result. That's the file we are looking for. And this is what the file we have generated. And it has got an error. You can see that it has got the error just to validate in JSON lint. I'm going to just copy and paste this JSON. And we can see that it has got an error because it represents two object or JSON object, but these two JSON object itself is not a correct JSON. And that is what not we are looking for. So what we are looking for is we are looking for a value attribute, which is of type array. And within this array, we should have all these data, right? To make that possible, what we are going to do is we are going to have another aggregate. So I'm going to click on this plus and create another aggregate. This time I'm not going to use any group by because we don't want to use group by this is just to another hint or another information. Another important tip for you guys that group by is, is optional on the aggregate function. In case if somebody is ask you that is it mandatory or not? Yes, it is often. So here in the aggregate, what I'm going to say is aggregate is going to be on the new column name, which is going to be a value column and then here in the expression I'm going to specify the value column with let's say collect I'm not using an unique here I'm using a collect here because I want to collect all my object right and I'm going to specify the values of all the fields so I'm going to say ID it needs to be on ID then it needs to be uh, it needs to contain the parent as well then it requires the children information so this is how the children information looks like creation date creation date next field is the registered so i'm going to have a registered field as well next so let's put a comma here address again address and based on this we would like to collect the data right here I think we had the reason we are getting the error is because we need to use this add column and this is what it should be looking like so now if you look at our value contains ID parent children registered creation date and address save it all and if we go to preview and as a result of the preview you can see that we have got two values one contains the ID one and the other contains the value ID two right let's go to the pipeline and debug again or basically run the pipeline again so i'm going to run it again and we are looking for a result which looks like this so let me just clean this up so don't so that we do not mix it up with this so our pipeline is successfully completed if i refresh our data in the container we have got a new json result and here in the JSON result, this time we have got this particular JSON which contains the object. Now if you go back to the validate and validate the JSON, you can see that the JSON is validated. It has got the values tag and inside the values tag it has got the information about each of the family. So now in this case, no matter how many families information or what kind of a data you have it in the CSV in the flat structure, you would be able to convert into a complex JSON structure, which could be containing a complex object data, flat structure data, or it could be an array of object. All those information we have managed to convert into a JSON object using the data factory that is it in this video i hope you have found this interesting if it is do consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already thanks for watching it see you in the next video